The J7 is the next evolution of the iRobot Roomba series. It is an upgrade of the i7, and I'm gonna to explain to you what makes it different from the i7. And I'm gonna show you all the contents that we see here, and I'm also gonna show you how it works. So here, watch me unbox it. I'm just opening it. The box for the J7 is smaller than the i7, and that's because the self-emptying bin is actually shorter in height, but it's wider in width. So let's take it out. You're gonna see that the unboxing experience on the iRobots are very, very nice. It's all carbon bendalized. Everything is well packaged and sealed. And to be honest, there's you just follow the quick start guide. Setup is a breeze. And I'm gonna walk you through that it only took me one minute to plug this in, get it set up on my phone and connect it on the app. One minute total. So if I can do it in a minute, I think you can do it in a minute. So let's look at everything you get inside the box here. Um, I'm gonna walk you through it. First, let's open box number one. You'll be finding that it contains your power cord, your extra filter, as well as your extra side brush roll, um, all in this box. So now for the big reveal, here is your J7 Plus. It is a very, very clean looking unit. It, it feels pretty modern, but also nostalgic. It's hard to describe what it looks like, especially when you compare it to an i7. And in order for me to give you a good demonstration of it, we're gonna compare it to an i7 because I have to see I have to see for myself and I want you guys to see, is it different from the i7? And this is everything you get in the box. That's all, that's everything you get in the box on this table. Let's take a nice up close view of the J7 up close. And, you, and if you look closely, you notice that the J7 doesn't have a camera on the top. Where is the camera? It's actually in the front because it's gonna let it better see and detect obstacles and debris on the floor. And let's pop out his dustbin. It is a side loading dustbin and you can see it is identical to the i7. Now let's quickly talk about its features. It's similar to the i7, it has 10 times the suction power of a 600 entry level model iRobot. And it has features like the self emptying bin, which is gonna allow you to um, it'll empty itself so you don't have to worry about emptying bin for 30, 60 days at a time, depending on frequently you change and how messy your room is. It will come with tangle-free pet brush rolls as well as the precision navigation so it can detect obstacles better than previous systems. In a close-up view of the inside of the self ending bin, there's a new thing. It's wider because you have an area to place, say, an extra bag and you have an area for the uh, bag that's going to be emptied into. Now let's see it up close and personal compared to the i7. And here is the i7 to your right and the J7 to your left. You'll notice that they are looking a little bit different in your units and they look really different in their self-emptying bins. But the underbody is pretty much the same. They both have the tangle-free brush roll that is patented by iRobot. They both will have similar wheels. They both have the side single brush roll. And in terms of their dust dustbin, it's pretty much identical. It's pretty much identical. They both come with the VSLAM technology and the smart mapping to accurately navigate your home and your space. But the J7 goes a little step farther because it has that precision navigation, the precision vision navigation. You can recognize objects and avoid obstacles like charging cords and pet waste. And it does it pretty easily. And not only that, if there's something that it's not sure of, it will take a picture and then you will decide should it avoid it. So that seems like a very interesting feature that I just didn't, I didn't imagine existed. It also has that imprint smart mapping um, where it's going to be able to learn and adapt to your home. And here, this is the space that we're using to test it. I'm showing you everything we're putting on as well as... I'm putting Rice Krispies treats on the floor. We already have uh, scattered dust and dirt all over the floor. We just haven't cleaned it. And now, this is the big reveal. We are showing you the J7 in action and we're showing you next to the i7 how it looks against the wall. And here is the app. We're gonna set it go. Let's hit it. Let's turn it on and let's see how it works. And you'll notice, I noticed a few unique features on this and it's weird. 
but it is slightly quieter than the i7. Even though I know it has probably the same motor um, and a lot of uh, the same brush roll. So one of the key features that they upgraded is that they moved the camera from the top of the iRobot, from the top of the iRobot on like the i7 to the front of the ro robot on the J7, giving it a wider field of view and allowing to see objects on the floor so it has better detection and obstacle avoidance. And it has that really cool feature where if it sees an obstacle that it does not know, it's going to send you a photo of it asking you, should it avoid it or is this a permanent fixture? Uh, what should it do? And the new Genius 3.0 operating system that it works on is just going to be optimized with AI. So it's going to learn over time to perform better for you, which is going to make give you better, cleaner floors. To so set your robot to start cleaning when you leave and stop when you come home, as well as iRobot's pet poop promise so basically, if it doesn't avoid the pet waste and you let them know, they will replace your J7 for free. So let's hear how the self-emptying bin sounds because it does also sound a little bit different. Here you can see it coming back to base and let's hear what it sounds like. And as a bonus feature, let me just show you how easy it is to set up the J7. They really made the J7 um, setup process easier than the i7. It just pops up on the screen. You just connect to it. You press the button on the, there's no like pressing two keys. You just press one button now. That's super easy and you connect. It took me less than one minute and you're all done. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.